Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It uh, will be about uh, this new repo that uh, we have created, uh, GitLab CI Magento. So this is the, an extension of uh, Magento Actions. Um, as you maybe know, uh, this action allows you to install, build and deploy Magento using GitHub Actions. So this declination is the do does the same thing, but this time using GitLab CI. So how to use it? So you 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 can you create a GitLab uh, repository like this. We have a GitLab uh, dash CI, and in this you called the this extension. So this file uh, using this link. Do not forget the, the raw GitHub uh, user content uh, stuff. Otherwise, you will pull a um, HTML and the uh, GitLab uh, pipeline will uh, fail. So what we are going to do today, we are going to, because the repository is empty, we are going to drop these and install a fresh Magento project. So. Or the, either you have already uh, ex an existing project and you have these files and this repository in which you will have Magento and uh, optionally PWA Studio um, and um, you, you can discard the install step or you have an empty um, repository like this and we will install Magento using this stuff so um, do not forget to pass this to zero if you want the source code to be downloaded into your GitLab repository or if you just uh, want to test your uh, custom third-party module or um, an isolated uh, source code but you need Magento in the runner you can set this to one, so the code will be downloaded on your runner and uh, used, but it will not be pushed to your uh, project. So here we want to push the, the, um, the code and let's run also a quick uh, coding standard check. Okay, let's run this and uh, talk about what this will do. So you can check here like that. Um, yes, the, the job is running. So how does this work? So it's all in here. So this, this file is a template, a GitLab template in which you have all the default uh, variable maybe you want to change them um, maybe you would like in the future to change your mysql um, version in which case you don't have to, to to clone or do anything to this file you can just uh, call it like this and override um, this file override override this file from your gitlab say so let's say you want to modify the MySQL, you just have to copy this part and uh, modify it in here. Um, so the same goes for all the variable. Talking about variables, there are some variables that will be mandatory depending on the kind of task you want to do. For example, if you want to install from uh, like what we are going to do here from the official Magento repository, you will have to uh, specify in your um, GitLab some mandatory variables like composer auth, in which you will have your composer uh, auth file. Um, maybe also you want to build and deploy directly on the server um, so these variables will be mandatory as well um, 
you can check the, the video this video to see uh, the more about the variables or how to set them but it's pretty straightforward so I can show you the variables you have we have here in order for the install to uh, to work you should have this one and uh, this one so uh, like I said you can check the, this video to know about more about the, the rest of the um, variable or maybe I will write in the future an article detailing them um, but for the install you have you need composer out and SSH the SSH conf, uh, the SSH private key my bad so this private key you will need it in order to push to your repository so what we once you generated the public and um, and uh, private SSH key you copy the uh, private SSH key in the variable I, I just saw you keeping the same name of course and here you have to generate a deploy key so you will pass your public key here and grant the right uh, permission this will allow your runner to download here your um, Magento uh, files and push them in your uh, repository. So it's still inst installing. Um, in the meanwhile, we can check more about uh, this uh, module so like i said there are uh, others um, tasks or kind of jobs you can launch using this template so you can install pwa studio from it and you can also if you uh, for example you don't have a comp composer out file you can install uh, magento files source code from Mage OS. Uh, for those who don't know Mage OS, it's an um, open source uh, fork of, we can call it like that, but it's not a fork today. It's, it's a copy of the official Magento uh, code source um, set up by reputable uh, people like uh, Vinay and uh, other Magento uh, community leaders. Um, so you can you can pull the, the, the source code from there without um, authentication restriction. And also I believe the, the, they give you access to the nightly builds of uh, Magento, which is not the case on the official composer repository. So you can also build uh, using this, like you, you saw earlier, I just copy past these in, uh, in here. So let's say after the install, I want to build, I can just copy this here and, uh, and so on. So you have unit test, uh, mess detector, coding standard check, like uh, we, are going to, we are going to do here. And um, the most important stuff here is this you can also directly do a zero downtime deployment uh, just by copying this this part uh, on your uh, in here and it will do it will build and uh, deploy your code to the server uh, please check this video to know how to to do that using the legacy file but um, the legacy file is here so you can discard all this you can just um, uh, pull this uh, call this uh, file here and uh, and just drop all this stuff all this complicated stuff you just will need a build and uh, deploy jobs 
but you still need the video to see how the variables works because uh, everything is done there so instead of uh, this long stuff you just will need like we can I can show you so let's say like uh, here you have a thread shows code you can you can do this like this and uh, do not forget the cleanup of course the cleanup will clean up the your server in case the deploy fa deployment fails and last but not least you will have to build before deploy the build uh, job is mandatory if you want to deploy so you can just uh, do like this i will not commit this because not it but you can just uh, do this or you can just install and then drop the install part and just do build the deploy and it will deploy the the code in your server on your server uh, check the video to see how to set up uh, the server and the variables so our um, pipeline has finished as you can see now we have a magento directory which has been pushed directly from the pipeline uh, i will show you so do not uh, you can discard this part because it is in the this this code because we are pushing and there is a special variable in the script to forbid the next um, push to uh, to launch a build in order to avoid any circular dependency build dependency or pipeline dependency so this is the um, the pipeline which has installed our projects you can check it everything done perfectly and the coding standard failed because i guess magento is not respecting their own coding standard or uh, just warnings yeah it seems just warnings there okay so that's about it have a good day ciao